Welcome to the Spring 2021 Virtual Convocation for Master of Legal Studies, Master of Sports Law and Business, Master of Laws, and Juris Doctor graduates of the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law at Arizona State University. Please welcome Douglas Sylvester, Dean of the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law. Hi, everybody. First, let me just begin by saying, wow. To you, the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law, Class of 2021, you are amazing. You did it. To get here today after a year that we all hope we never have to experience again, with your JD or master's degrees in tow, having overcome all the adversity and challenges, while still taking every advantage of the opportunity to learn, grow, and succeed, I can't do anything but give you my highest personal praise. To the more than 450 of you graduating this spring, you've experienced your own journeys and have even more unique stories to tell. In every way, your tenacity to just keep moving forward, your genuine support and community for one another, that's what makes ASU Law the special place it is. Your stories are incredibly diverse and so important in just the community that you've managed to create over this difficult year. We've had a childhood barrel racer and combine driver who started ASU Law at just 19 years old, 19, and now graduating with a dual JD and a master of sports law and business degree, underachiever. A competitive gymnast from the age of three who always dreamed of a career in sports is also now receiving her master's of sports law and business and will soon be on to her JD to become an attorney. Fantastic. A 14-year-old public works estimator. Can you imagine doing that at 14? To becoming a carpenter's union apprentice at just 22 to now a father of two earning his master of legal studies degree to continue his career trajectory in construction management. Such tenacity again. And of course, I have to mention, the chairman of the one and only Chicago Bears becomes a three-peat ASU grad with a master's of law degree added to his prior ASU Law JD and ASU undergrad degrees. I'm so inspired by each and every one of you. On top of all the time and care you've put into your legal education and preparation for your next steps in your career journey, you've also given back to your community with over 110,000 hours of public service. Truly remarkable. And I also have to call out your amazing faculty, staff, and donors for getting so creative in this past year and providing experiential opportunities and scholarships in direct support of all of you. With these stellar results, it's no wonder that we once again are ranked the youngest law school in the nation's top 25 and have been placed in the top 30 for the past seven years. It's because of you. You've been number one for bar passage in the state of Arizona for the past seven years. And I know our JD grads are gonna make us proud and make a difference in this world once again as the best attorneys graduating this year in the nation. And our master's grads, you're all gonna become the next corporate leaders and entrepreneurs leading this country forward to continued greatness. I also wanna take a moment to tell you how we wanted to make this event as special as possible for you. While we all can't wait for the day when big celebrations and large in-person gatherings are allowed once again, we hope you know we did all we could to make your ASU Law graduation memorable. From a hooding ceremony, to small group gatherings, to watch this video, we hope this will provide you somewhat of a graduation experience to be able to celebrate this milestone with your peers, law school faculty and staff, and of course, your families. So without further ado, we do have some special speakers lined up for you, including our master's convocation speaker, Katie Hobbs, a fellow ASU alum and Arizona's Secretary of State, and our JD Convocation Speaker, Van Jones, CNN political contributor and a powerful voice in America and a lawyer from some other law school. Thank you again for making all of us so proud. Congratulations, enjoy your celebration and the show. Thank you, Dean Sylvester. We will now move into the Student Convocation Speaker Remarks portion of our program. Please welcome our Master of Legal Studies Student Convocation Speaker, Sally Young, for her remarks. In starting to write this speech, I wanted to think of something that we all have in common, something everyone who had been through this program could relate to. But the beauty of the MLS program is that it's individualized for every student. Maybe you had a human resources emphasis, a contract management emphasis, or like me, no emphasis at all. We come from so many different career backgrounds, we're all ages, and we're learning from all corners of the country. The thing we have in common is what we're taking out of the experience. Confidence. The confidence to converse knowledgeably about any of the legal subjects we've studied. The confidence to school anybody on the difference between covenants and representations in a legally binding contract, or the elements of negligence in tort law. 
We can advocate better for ourselves in a negotiation setting and know our rights in the workplace. We have the confidence to know our worth in a work or personal setting. We've also gained a sharper eye with which to view the world and current events. Where most people rely on experts to decipher the news for them, we can be the experts for ourselves and look critically at the events of the day. We have a wider range of options when it comes to career paths. Our degree and the knowledge that we gain to earn it will allow us the freedom to enter a new field or enhance our already existing career. The other thing we have in common is the work we all put in. We were the ones waking up early or going to bed late and sacrificing plans with friends or family to get that paper done. We spent the last year or more planning our lives around our class schedule and making sure we had time to balance school with work or family life. We recognized the value a Master of Legal Studies degree would have in our lives and made ourselves and our education a priority. But we couldn't have done it alone. Our families, friends, and support systems were there to pick up the slack when we needed to focus on our own endeavor instead of whatever other responsibilities we had. They gave us the space we needed to get done what we needed to get done and supported our decision to further our education. On a personal note, I want to thank my parents and family for their support. Thank you to everyone who encouraged me and told me I could do it when I said I was giving up. Thank you to my boyfriend who helped me workshop this speech. Thank you to ASU Law for developing the program I always wanted to enroll in but didn't know existed. I never had a bad professor and the knowledge I've gained has helped me in ways I never imagined. While we're all looking to the future and what our newly minted degrees can do for us, let's not forget to enjoy this moment, the culmination of years of hard work. Today is a celebration of us, although it certainly doesn't look the way we thought it would when we enrolled in the MLS program. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Thank you, Sally. Please welcome our first Master of Sports Law and Business student convocation speaker, Tanner Benjamin Lipson, for his remarks. Hello, class of 2021. My name is Tanner Lipson, and I'm honored to receive the Rodney K. Smith Foundation Award and to have the opportunity to speak at graduation. When I sat down with our program director, Aaron Hernandez, about a month ago, I asked him, what should I say in my speech? What will resonate with the group? His simple response, be authentic and speak from the heart. Like myself, I'm sure many of you plan on 2020 being your year, the year that you finally secured that dream job, that important promotion, or even had plans to travel the world. Then, in an instant, life happened. The events over the past 12 months have impacted every student graduating today. Students have lost loved ones to COVID, lost confidence in our own society, or even lost their new job a week into the pandemic. Personally, I lost my grandfather the first week of school, and I remember it like it was yesterday. But from tragedy comes opportunity. Opportunity to better yourself, your family, or the community around you. I didn't want my speech to just be about persevering through graduate school. Sure, we fought through self-doubt during sports analytics, stepped outside our comfort zone to perform a negotiation in front of 60 students, and wrestled with our confidence after struggling to correctly analyze a case. But I bet you got it right after the four straight IRAC assignment from Professor Jarvis. Earlier, I mentioned taking advantage of opportunity. The Bud Selig Sports Law and Business Graduate Program provided me an opportunity, and I'm proud to say I took full advantage. Over the past 10 months, I've grown as a leader, pushed myself academically, and ironically, conquered my fear of public speaking. This school year was something like we've never seen before. Knowing that students were able to find motivation, happiness, friendship, and success in a year filled with so many op external obstacles is a testament to the outstanding character and resilience of each person graduating today. And for that, I am proud to celebrate our incredible achievements together. On behalf of my SLB peers, I want to say thank you. Thank you to our law and business professors for their endless support and optimism, for their ability to teach and mentor during a time of uncertainty. Thank you to our adjunct professors and all our guest speakers for inspiring the next generation of sports executives. Thank you to ASU and the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law for creating a safe in-person learning environment. Because honestly, I can't be the only one who struggles to stay focused during a three-hour Zoom class. On a personal note, I want to thank Aaron Hernandez for his mentorship, my girlfriend for her endless support, and my family, specifically my father. Thank you for keeping me focused and driven. I could not have accomplished any of this without you. Now we move on to the scariest part of our lives, re-entering the real world, a world filled with the most challenging job market sports has ever seen. So how do you know what's next? Should you start grinding for the LSAT and get that JD? 
hustling to secure a job with Nike, or even starting your own sports agency. I leave you with an exercise that was passed down by my dad. How do you prioritize your values or know how to live your life without knowing where you want to end up? I urge my fellow law graduates to imagine knocking on a door and on the other side to greet you as your future self. It's you in 20 years. What does that person look like? Where do they live? And what kind of person are they? Then ask your future self a simple question. What do I need to know to get me from where I am today to where you are? Give yourself that vision, that roadmap that will help guide your life. Then from here on out, every decision, every action you take, you can ask yourself the same question. Will this help me get to where I wanna be as my future self? It became very clear early in my life that I would not end up as a professional athlete. So in 20 years from now, my future self is living on the beach in a house where I could watch the sunset over the ocean every night from my balcony. I'm working as a marketing executive for a major sports brand. I have a job that challenges me intellectually, a career based in the principles of law, and above all, a life where I'm happy. Congratulations to every ASU sports law and business graduate. I look forward to watching you pursue the dream career your future self already holds. Go Devils. Thank you, Tanner. Please welcome our second Master of Sports Law and Business student convocation speaker, Erin Riggs Oliphant, for her remarks. Hi, I am Erin Oliphant, and I'm honored to be a Ronnie K. Smith Award winner. When I got the news that I would be speaking at graduation, I had a couple different reactions. The first was one of excitement. I had the opportunity to express my gratitude to all of my amazing professors and classmates who have made my time at ASU so special. I would also have the opportunity to thank my family for supporting me every step of the way. My second reaction was, oh geez, these poor people are going to have to listen to me talk even more. So I will try to make this short and sweet for all of you. Passion for sports seeps from all of you and I have a feeling all will dive headfirst into your careers. As I think we all know from our various classes, guest speakers, jobs, and internships, our careers in the sports industry are going to be very time demanding. With the work ethic I have seen from everyone in this program, I can see it being easy for people to get caught up in their job without making time for the other things that they are passionate about. I want to remind everyone as we go into this demanding field that it's important to find balance. Throughout most of middle school and all of high school, my sole focus was swimming. Every decision I made was based off of the sport. I refused to miss a practice for anything, whether it be a family vacation, a friend's birthday party, or even a study session. It was something I took great pride in at the time. But here's the thing. When you live and die for one thing, your happiness lives and dies in that one thing. Towards the end of my sophomore year of high school, I became pretty sick and had to take time off of swimming to have sinus surgery. Shortly after being pulled from the pool, I became really depressed and started to have frequent anxiety and panic attacks. I should have taken that as a sign to reevaluate my way of life, but instead, the minute I was cleared by my doctor to get back in the water, I went straight back to what I was doing before, which was putting swimming before every other aspect of my life. As you can probably imagine, this did not go well. I couldn't get back to the times I was swimming pre-surgery no matter how hard I tried. The anxiety and the depression grew worse with every race I swam. I was letting my performance in the pool determine my self-worth. It took until I tore both the labrums in my hips for me to realize that I needed to change. I started by self-reflecting on the things that were important to me and more importantly, how much I was investing into those things. I cared about my family, I cared about my friends, I cared about school, yet you probably would have no idea based off how I was dividing my time. For example, I have always said family comes first. However, I missed several family vacations because of swimming. That's time with my family I'm never going to get back. This self-reflection was a huge wake-up call for me. The other thing I did, which I think is the best thing I could have possibly done for myself, is to get help for my mental health. If I were to tell you that in high school, I was the shy kid who sat in the corner and hardly ever spoke, most of you wouldn't believe me. But it's true. I was scared to talk in class due to anxiety and a lack of confidence in myself. Because of the help I received and continue to receive from mental health professionals, I am now happy, confident, and live what I consider to be a well-balanced life. Although swimming was not technically a job, it might as well have been for the parallels between the two. 
Both require big time commitment, sacrifice, dedication, and the will to succeed. With that being said, there are a few takeaways from my swim story that I would love for you all to remember going into your careers. One, do not let your job consumer define you. I know every single one of us is a hardworking, dedicated individual that wants to do what it takes to find success in our careers. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here today. However, I do not want any of you looking back and feeling like you missed out on a whole portion of your life because of your job. Figure out the things outside of your job that are important to you and make sure you are making time for those things. I promise you can still have success while having balance. Two, listen to those around you. My parents and my coach constantly told me it was okay if I missed practice here and there to go enjoy other things. Did I listen? No. Do I wish I did? Absolutely. Your coworkers are going to know you well and hopefully are going to want the best for you. Take their advice to heart. Three, seek help if you are struggling. I spent far too much time being unhappy because I was too stubborn to admit I needed help. Asking for help doesn't make you weak. It makes you incredibly strong. I have loved my time here at ASU in the MSLB program and I'm so thankful for everyone who has played a part in my journey to get here today. Congratulations to all my fellow classmates. I can't wait to see what you all do in the future. Thank you, Erin. Please welcome our Juris Doctor student convocation speaker, Emily F. Paygrabs, for her remarks. Hello, fellow graduates and distinguished guests, wherever you may be. My name is Emily Paygrabs, and I'm honored to speak to you today and to represent this class of graduates from the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law. Today we reach a milestone three years in the making, earning our Juris Doctor from ASU. And I think it's safe to say our law school careers did not proceed in the way we anticipated. During our first year of law school, we strove to master not only a new subject matter, but a new way of thinking altogether. We learned to question everything from the subject matter of our law school classes to our decision to take on this challenge to begin with but we made it through to our second year only to tackle new challenges and responsibilities. From externships to extracurriculars, we broadened our minds even further, entering the practical realms of law. But then our world, let alone our law school careers, changed. We were confronted with an unprecedented global pandemic. In the past year, some of us have not physically stepped foot in the law school building, Others work to balance family responsibilities with their law school careers, and some face challenges we can only empathize with, but never truly understand. All of this while trying to finish an already daunting three years. Yet our sense of community never wavered. To be sure, when we think back on the past three years, we will not forget how the pandemic changed our lives seemingly overnight. But we will also not forget the friendships and people that got us through it. We will remember how the friends we met in downtown Phoenix for a drink after our first semester exams were the same friends we stayed up late with having virtual happy hours as 3Ls. We will remember how our organizations continued on, publishing new editions of our respective journals, providing pro bono service to the Phoenix community, and competing on moot court teams, despite not being able to be all together in the same room. When I began writing these remarks, it was difficult not to let the pandemic cloud my brain and overshadow the law school experience. And our law school adventure was beyond what we could have anticipated in many ways, full of twists and turns. But how we navigated those twists and turns is what this class brings to the future of the legal profession. The ability to think on our feet and adapt, the determination to keep our community strong and united despite being apart. So while it may feel like the pandemic came to define our law school careers, I believe that the strengths that allowed us to triumph despite the pandemic are what define the class of 2021, both now and in our coming legal careers. I would be remiss if I did not mention the other individuals who made these past three years possible. To the parents, friends, and families, thank you for being our rocks through these past three years and in our, throughout our entire lives. To the significant others out there, thank you for listening to our legal ramblings, and most importantly, bringing us coffee and food when we were too tired to provide it for ourselves. Finally, 
to the faculty, staff, and administration at ASU, thank you for inspiring us and for providing us with an example of how to conduct ourselves as future lawyers. In talking to former graduates, I am often struck by what they remember about law school. Often, they say two things. First, the struggles endured with their friends that 10 years later turned into funny memories. And second, how they had a front row seat to watch their friends turn from law students to the amazing lawyers they are today. For my part, I will remember the friends I struggled to understand contracts with, who remain my support system to this day. I will remember all-nighters writing a moot court brief, which, although painful, truly turned us into a team. And I will remember the new friends, classmates, and colleagues who I continue to meet until my final day of law school, who challenged me to think about the law differently. But most importantly, I deeply appreciate the front row seat I now occupy to watch the class of 2021 go on to become legal advocates, masters of business, politicians, judges, and all around amazing people. Because to quote Amanda Gorman, while once we asked, how could we possibly prevail over catastrophe? Now we assert, how could catastrophe possibly prevail over us? Congratulations to the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law, Class of 2021. Thank you, Emily. We will now move into our convocation addresses, starting first with our speaker for our master's program, Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. After serving in the Arizona House of Representatives and Arizona Senate as Minority Leader, Ms. Hobbs became the Secretary of State in 2019. In this role, she oversees elections in Arizona, ensuring the process is secure, fair, and efficient. Prior to being elected to the legislature, she served as a professional social worker in the areas of domestic violence, behavioral health, and homelessness. Secretary Hobbs earned a Master of Social Work degree from Arizona State University. Please welcome Secretary Hobbs. Good evening, graduates, family and friends, faculty and staff, and distinguished guests. And congratulations, graduates, on this momentous achievement. As an ASU alumna, I am honored to be invited to address you, even if it is virtually. As you are closing out this chapter and preparing to embark on your careers, I want to congratulate you. You have the opportunity to make a real impact in your communities, in our state and in the world. I also wonder how many of you might be thinking that this career path will lead you to elected office or have actually thought about running for office. If you had asked me at my graduation 26 years ago, if I expected to be serving an elected office, I probably would have laughed at you. But here I am 11 years after being elected to the legislature and just three years after winning statewide office. And I can say with certainty that it was my career in public service as a social worker that led me to running for office. Around 2004, I found myself as the Director of Government Relations at a large domestic violence center here in the Valley. And as part of that job, worked on public policy in order to help the families that we served. It was frustrating to say the least. Passing legislation, even legislation that seems non-controversial, can take years. Getting funding from the legislature to support the services we provided was even harder. It was doing this work that eventually led to my decision to run for office. At some point, I realized that if you can't change policy, maybe you need to change who's making the policy. I spent a lot of time volunteering on campaigns to do just that before deciding to run myself. When I was first elected in 2010, the political climate was filled with rancor, both here in Arizona and around the country. Obama's presidency and the passage of the Affordable Care Act gave rise to the Tea Party, and Governor Jan Brewer had recently signed the controversial immigration bill, Senate Bill 1070, into law. The 2020 election cycle showed that the divide is greater than ever. I was one of many elected officials who were targeted as a result of the misinformation that we witnessed last year. As a social worker for many years, 
I was able to anticipate this reaction from certain people when they feel powerless and angry. Even so, these actions were utterly abhorrent, especially when directed at my family and my staff. They are a symptom of a deeper problem in our state and country, the consistent and systematic undermining of trust in each other and our democratic processes. As much as that rancor and divisiveness might deter someone from stepping into the political fray, those of us who have committed our lives to public service are needed more than ever. We are focused on improving the quality of life in our communities, solving challenging social problems, and getting stuff done. It is our skills that are needed to help navigate through this difficult climate. As with anything worth doing, this is easier said than done. When I was first elected to the legislature as a Democrat, we were not just in the minority, but the Republicans had a supermajority in both chambers. There were some days, especially when it came to the really controversial issues, that even showing up felt like an exercise in futility. But legislative observers will tell you that the controversial stuff is not the majority of what goes on in the legislature. It's just what gets the attention. When I was a freshman representative and Democrat in the super minority, I had two bills passed nearly unanimously and signed into law by Governor Brewer. This happened because I worked hard to build relationships and find common ground with folks on the other side of the aisle. Since then, I've worked with Governor Ducey and my Republican colleagues on important bipartisan legislation to address the opioid crisis and end the backlog of untested sexual assault evidence kits in Arizona. The bottom line is I chose to pick my battles, knowing I would never convince them to agree to hear or vote for a controversial bill, so I didn't try. But when I had a bill that was a good idea that solved a problem, it was an opportunity to build a bridge and work together to get something done. And that creates a win for everyone. As Secretary of State, tasked with overseeing our state's elections during a global pandemic, I made a commitment that Arizonans would not have to choose between their freedom to vote and their health. Despite all the obstacles and challenges, we were successful. The 2020 elections had historic participation and we saw a rise in the number of registered voters across all parties statewide. Now, months after the election, my office has introduced a legislative package that would streamline election administration, expand voting rights, and enhance election security. We did this to protect the freedom to vote. Throughout my entire career, I have worked really hard to keep disagreements about issues from becoming personal. It is possible, and I'm proof of that, to be a standard bearer for your party and the voters you represent, and to fight for the things you're passionate about without throwing figurative bombs and alienating people who could otherwise be allies depending on the situation. There's nothing earth shattering about this approach, but I definitely think we need more of it. There are a lot of people who talk about bipartisanship, but few who actually practice it. And this approach is needed throughout the political arena, not just from elected officials. All of us have the ability to help bring this about whether you run for office or not. There's one last thing that, especially as a woman in elected office, I wanna to touch on because throughout my career, I've been surrounded by strong women leaders. And throughout Arizona's history, we have elected strong women leaders. As graduates of the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law, you probably know this better than most. Her namesake grew up on a cattle ranch right here in Arizona. And prior to being named the first female Supreme Court Justice, Sandra Day O'Connor enjoyed a distinguished career in the state legislature, serving as the first female Senate Majority Leader. We've had more female governors than any other state, a total of four. And from 1999 to 2002, the top five constitutional officers in the state were women, a first in the nation. Most recently, in the 2018 election, Arizona voters again elected five women statewide, including sending Arizona's first woman to the U.S. Senate. 
I might add that that woman, Senator Kirsten Sinema, is also an ASU alumna. So you are among very good company. As you wrap up this chapter, or move on to the next, I wish you all much success and happiness, but more importantly, the fortitude to overcome the challenges that life will throw at you. But I have no doubt that after surviving and graduating in a once in a lifetime global pandemic, you will be up for those challenges. Congratulations again on this amazing accomplishment. Thank you, Secretary Hobbs. Please welcome Ms. Kay Royal, president of the ASU Law Alumni Association and ASU Law alumna from the class of 2004 for her remarks from the Alumni Association Board of Directors. My name is Kay Royal. I am the current chair of your Alumni Association, which means you'll never get rid of us. You might change out chairs, but yeah, we're pretty much here to stay. But please do join us in our communication channels. We have a LinkedIn group now, especially for the Sandra Day O'Connor at Arizona State University College of Law graduates, and we would love to have you join us. Right now, we're in the process of changing our mission and our activities to be more involved with our communities, and we would absolutely love to have you join us. I think back along my graduation that I attended, whether for whatever degree it was, and there are speakers lined up one after the other, those that you elect, which are usually the, the most fun, the inspirational speakers, the guests of honor that are brought in to give you their words of wisdom, which are absolutely inspiring and fantastic. Your dean is going to speak. You're going to hear from people like me that are the head of your alumni association. What are you going to remember? And I think back over all the ones that I've heard, and it's interesting what you remember out of your graduation speakers. So I'm going to try today to give you words that maybe you don't remember, but maybe you act on. And that's where we are today. We are in transformative times or a new norm. Whatever it is that you call this past year or so that we've been living in. But now it's time to move forward. So take a deep breath and let's flip this perspective. You don't define a generation in advance. History defines it when they look back on the actions that were taken. They look for those pivotal moments of change, of social awareness, that vibrant passion, a moment where the people in that age went, yes, it's a new time. Is that where we are? It is if you choose to be. Are we going to look back on this past year, this past decade, and say that we are defined by our problems? Or are we going to choose to be defined by our solutions and by our actions? The choice is up to you. Will you choose to be defined by our stagnation or by our growth? This is where you make an active choice, whether or not we are in a new era of celebration. The time for tolerance is gone. Tolerance is an act of cowards. Now, perhaps not consciously an act of cowards, but tolerance is a word that is for those who are not brave enough to recognize what is in front of them and not brave enough to take that next step to move past tolerance, to move to true justice, equality, to move to celebration of everyone in this earth with us. So don't be a coward. Be brave enough to say enough, to say enough. Give a voice to those whose voices have been silenced, who haven't been heard enough, whose actions and whose words are driven by acts of fear or desperation because we have not chosen to hear them. We have not said enough. We have not taken the responsibility to move forward into this new era. So do you choose to stand up and take action or do you choose to stand aside and let history look back on what we didn't do and just pass us by. Shoulda, woulda, couldas never made history. 
It is only when people step forward and stand together and take action that you see true change. And this is where history has never seen us coming. Our destiny is not written in the stars because they can't see us. And if we don't choose to step forward as a society into this evolution that we are entering, we could very well just be another passing blimp in history. Take that next step. Go beyond where we are and where we've been. Be brave enough to write your destiny. So today, you have a choice. Each one of you has a choice. And if you don't affirmatively make a choice to step forward, you will have already made a choice not to. This is a new day, and it's a day for us to stand together. It's a day where history will look back and say, this is where we became. Where we became, where humans became. Can you write the ending for me? What did we become? Better yet, right the beginning. Thank you, Ms. Royal. Congratulations once again to the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law Class of 2021. Please welcome back Dean Sylvester for his closing remarks. So welcome back, everybody. I hope you've really enjoyed it. Let me start by just thanking all of our speakers and again to all of you. My absolute heartfelt congratulations and highest praise. Couldn't be more proud. As we end, I want to leave you with the words of one of your fellow graduates, Vanessa Kabuda. She's a JD grad who many of you already know has had an incredible background. She speaks Tibetan. She spent her summers during undergrad living in monasteries in India and Nepal with Tibetan monks and nuns, and is really just one of the individuals who lets us know why she chose ASU Law in a way that I hope really resonates with all of you. According to Vanessa, what drew me to ASU was the fact that it is a top law school with the highest caliber legal education, excellent job finding statistics for its graduates, and yet, most of all, its people are very approachable and down to earth. ASU Law is a school that truly cares about student success on every level, not just our academic success, but our whole being and our physical and mental health. The ASU community has been very supportive and the faculty is phenomenal. The law school is beautiful inside and out. Yes, ASU Law is a beautiful place. And you, the newest alumni of the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law, are a huge part of what makes that statement true on every level. So, on behalf of our faculty, staff, and the entire ASU Law community, cheers to all of you. We look forward to staying in touch and can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you, Dean Sylvester. It is with great honor that we present the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law Class of 2021. We will begin with our Spring 2021 Master of Laws candidates. Muna Ali M. Alalegi. Jane Mendy Iben. Dongfeng Sun. We now present our Spring 2021 Master of Laws Sports Law and Business candidate. George Hollis McCaskey. We now present our Spring 2021 Master of Legal Studies candidates. Elmu Kotomi Ba. Amber Barto. Cody Evans McManus Burkamp. Jordan D. Blitz. Philippe Gundars Buncis. Caitlin Rene Carballo. Francesca Davidson. Kennedy May Diggs. Jessica Lauren Duggan. David M. Gondo. Maxim Charles Lampkin Greenberg. Annalise V. Harris. Takesha Sine Harris. Zachariah David Heller. Brittany Sean Holm. Amanda Celeste Jones. Nicole Elizabeth Kazan. Kaylin Elizabeth King. Angela Hope Lashinsky. Mary Ellen Mayer. Daniel Justin Martaligu. Gray Martin. Elizabeth A. McGovern. George Nathan Moran. Gadir Abdulatif H. Nukeli. Kelly Lorraine Phillips. Anitra Lee Pickett. Devin Andrew Santiago. 
Monet Smith, Imani Christine Stevens, Christopher Keenan Vakula, Hugo Villagrana, Lillian Huang An Vu, Justice Quinn Winston, Yaniba Katie Yaza, Sally Young. We now present our Spring 2021 Master of Legal Studies Patent Practice Candidates. Lincoln M. Abraham, Devin Jacob Dogie, Marla J. Meyer. We now present our Spring 2021 Master of Legal Studies online candidates. Ashley Megan Alba, Derek Babcock, Gregory Adam Berens, Paige Alexandra Bueller, Rose Bocci, Jay Bolden, Lindsay Brown, Victoria Marie Burt, Erica Jasmine Bassani, Daniela Camacho, Megan Marie Campbell, Wendy Campbell, Jessica Ann Carcamo, Samantha L. Cavaco, Patrice M. Charles, Brittany Shatoshi, Kimberly M. Connolly, Diane Cordery, Ashley Ann Cumaford, Anthony J. E. Cummings, Sage Marie Cutler, Amanda Renee Dolly, Mahogany DeCando, Lene Michelle Deeds, Rachel Marie Dermody, Alexis Ray Dieterman, Tina Linnell De Gregorio, Lisa L. Edmonds, Kanza Manar L. Hamel, Charity Joy Emery, Lonnie England, Mark Jazil Lomboy Esteban, Brittany Non Etheridge, Tariq Fisher, Shayla Monique Luis Foster, Stephanie Lynn Fulcher, Gerardo Galaviz, Delaney R. Gardner, Karen R. Gay, Robert M. Gilliam, Alaya Glover, Sydney M. Gordon, Philip James Grimaud, Michael Heeman, Matthew Highland, Angelica Henderson, Eric Henderson, Daniel Hennessy, Laura Higginbotham, Kayla Rose Hollingsworth, Jamie Marie Holmes, Kimberly Howard, Regine Zane Howard, Victoria Orozco Humphrey, Tehran Alfonso Jackson, Benjamin Hale Jennett, Tawanda Johnson Gray, Ryan Jones, Kaylin Jordan, Amanda Tyann Joyce, Jerome Joyner, Sarah Camo. Lauren Ashley Kolb, James LaDuce, Elizabeth Lambert, Catherine Wyatt Lother, Chase Layton, Danielle Rochelle Lindsay, Russ Kevin Lewis, Travis Machado Liddell, Nancy Lynn Ligon, Andre Paul Maddox, Rachel Laura Marble, Logan Jeffrey Marl, Casey Joe Martell, Lynn A. Martinez, Lisbeth Mata, Valerie C. McLeod, Sarah Caitlin McKee, Sharon McLaurin, Jasmine Elizabeth Medrano, Davud Madaris Esfe. John Lewis Monroe, Taya Moore, 
Marinda Mary Morgan, Nicolo G. Muniz, Stacy Lynn Murr, Doreen Nacho Gude, Priyanka S. Nara, Abigail Kishia Nelson, Nicole May Fernandez Nacon, Seth U. Nuoso, Juan Gabriel Ocasio Rivera, Brian Oliveira, Bradley John Omland, Adrian McCutcheon Osuch, Jesus Manuel Palacios, Samantha Patino, Jessica Danielle Penny, Molly Lee Ply, Tony Ann Purdy, Beth Quill, Rick Riley, Leilona Anshel Roca, Elizabeth Carbajal Rodriguez, Catherine Rowe, Kara Christine Sines, Pankaj Sarkar, Ashley Ann Scott, Brianna C. Scott, Trenton Bryce Seidner, Alex Nicole Scalpsa, Lee Gardner Smith, Stacy Michelle Spiros, Bryce Tyler Stevens, Randy Ray Strom, Malik Rashan Stuckey, Cami Teams, Vincent Tessatori, Jack T. Ulstra, Ernesto Francisco Valencia, Don Von Prague, Antonio Jesus Vicencio, Charles S. Rugitz, Latrice Denise Warrior, Christina Teeb Wiater, Christy Lee Wiggins, Carmen Shante Williams, Erica Lee Williams, Stephanie Lisbeth Wolf. We now present our Spring 2021 Master of Sports Law and Business candidates. Chad Adams, Angie Allen, Jada Marie Allender, Noah Anastasados, Samuel Max Bobroff, Liam Burke, Heather Amber Calandra, Delilah Rose Cassidy, Brendan T. Clark, Kevin Deckel, Blake Arthur Falansby, Jack Iseth, Griffin Clume, Joshua Adam Krebs, Jacqueline Kathleen Lemar, Chase James Madey, Tanner Earl Martin, Austin Joseph Moore, Jessica Marie Newton, Stephanie Ann Peja, Camara Trachel Pennick, Andrew T. Relic, Brent Michael Reinhardt, Riley Thomas Simpson, Anthony Michael Studnicka, Heather Lynn Udewick. We now present our Spring 2021 Juris Doctor candidates. Annabelle Montgomery Abel, Jacob Abrahamian, Aubrey Ann Maria Ackerman, Sharif Saber Ahmed, Jada Marie Allender, William James Anderson, Nicholas B. Ansel, Yaseli Ariano, Christy L. Atanasov, Jasmine Baramian, Isabella Barbosa Ruggeri, Taylor J. Barlow, Matthew M. Bartley, Bailey Jean Bassinger, Madeline Ann Bauer, Jillian Amanda Bowman, Caden Bowman, Oren Maxwell Belizio, Evan R. Benson, Corey Bernard, Brent R. Beer, Tucker Lee Bingham, Richard V. Bishop, 
Mariah K. Blackbird, Rihanna Nicole Blackburn, Kayla Nicole Blessinger, Robert Bruce Bojanin, Diego F. Brito, Kyle Broadfoot, Michael R. Brown, Sierra Ann Brown, William Riggs Brown, Hannah James Brunelli, Robert Hayburn Bullington, Lauren M. Calamari, Taylor K. Kalmelet, Jens Wesley Camp, David Eugene Campbell, Emily A. Carey, Megan M. Carrasco, Julieta Carrillo, David A. Carvalho, Delilah Rose Cassidy, Michelle L. Castagni, Chasen Jarrett Chapman, David Chavez, Tessa Lene Chrisman, Hudson Christmas, Brendan T. Clark, Antoine C. Kutsia, Chase Carter Caldwell, Zachary James Cooper, Stephen A. Costa, Mark A. Crosby, Virginia Caitlin Krausen, Ashley B. Cuber, Alejandra Curio Molina, Mackenzie Rose Chabai, Jamie L. Dosh, Miles DeCoster, Hong Down, James Vincent De Rienzo, Stephanie Ann Deskins, Asha Devanini, James W. Day, Harmon K. Denoa, Matthew D. Dittman, Caitlin M. Doak, Abigail Marie Dockham, Casey Mackenzie Donovan, J. Dosid, John Andrew Dragovitz, Brandon Christopher Dre, Tatiana Dunn, Hannah K. Durrett, Grace M. Duvall, Sarah Michelle Bean Erickson, Gideon Essikoff, Ava Marie Essler, Caroline Kent Federici, Christian L. Fernandez, Kaylina Ann Farron, Hannah K. Fleming, Brooke Dawn Franco, John M. Fredericks, Drake Fricken, Nathan Frischkorn, Peter W. Furlow, Noah T. Gabrielson, Andrea O. Gapmeyer, Cassandra Garcia, Catherine Elizabeth Gassier, Jonathan H. Ganari, Marissa Ann Gibbons, Brianna Kathleen Gildner, Scott S. Goldner, Jared Gorsh, Philip J. Guff Stone, George Andrew Gould, Jordan Evan Greenman, Enon Gua, John T. Habib, Caitlin Hightayan, Kyle A. Halbleep, Paige Hoffman, Marcus James Mahaffey Hallman, Timothy Bateman Hamilton, William Harrison, Shannon M. Houtzinger, Robert D. Hines, Benjamin Lee Hill, Maria Lynn Hodge, Trent Lee Hoffman, Kaylee Elizabeth Hoffner, Zachary Austin Holstrom, Kyle C. Hooker, Aaron Lee Reha, Brian Clayton Hull, Andrew Carson Jameson, Aspen Miller Jensen, Catherine S. Johnson, Riley J. Johnson, Sterling Johnson, 
Christina Danielle Yutzi, Jason Michael Kazala, Dina Kalamchi, Nicholas Ray Candace, Alexandria Nicole Carperk, Jack Beaumont Keenan, Omu Jean Kita, Natalie Angelina Kilker, Jacob Sherman King, Alexandra M. Klein, Vanessa A. Kubota, Elsa Melissa Landeros, Shadow Ann Lang, Alec J. Lardieri, Juliana K. Loria, Nicole Layton, Deborah D. Lee, Ryan Derek Lee, Ryan Leibel, Joseph Leon Lisware, Philip Jagger Lieb, Nathan Alexander Lilly, Julia P. Manneker, William G. Manchester, Megan Holly Manning, Allison J. Martin, Jennifer M. Martin, Matthew T. Matsuyama, Corbin Nelson McAllister, Kate Kolomijek McFarlane, Graham Herschel Katz McNevin, Jordan Eliza Meyer, Dylan Chase Malusnik, Kelsey Misseldine, Nicholas J. Meneras, Spencer C. Morgan, Rachel A. Moss, Austin D. Moylan, Ryan A. Murphy, Shibuki O. Nibby, Cecilia Nicole Nito, Robert E. Niska, Christopher T. Norton, Lauren D. Norton, Matthew Robert O'Donnell, John T. Oliver, Samantha Orwall, Alana Ruth Austby, Olivia Grace Otter, Corey Nicholas Owen, John Christian Honrado Oyas, Emily F. Paygrabs, Jacqueline Rose Pakula, Akash C. Patel, Seema G. Patel, Kendall Renee Pierce, Kendra Renee Penningroff, Jordan M. Petit, Paul A. Phelps, Vanessa Marie Pomeroy, Christian A. Powell, Jared Steve Piper, Danielle Lee Kwan, Joseph R. Rainey, Anita Ramalo Roca, Zachary Morgan Blaze Rapp, Anna R. Reagan, Dustin A. Rector, Claudia M. Reeves, Gregory Allen Reinhardt, Daniel Sebastian Restrepo, Christina Lee Reibel, Taylor Rivich, Mehek Fatima Rizvi, Rebecca B. Robbins, Victoria Lee Romine, Walter L. Ross, Isaac Rounceville, Daniel C. Saylor, Noah John Schultz Rathbun, Addison A. Schwarz, Christopher Sen, Brian A. Shapiro, Benjamin R. Shattuck, A. Walter Shedroff, Hualun Shi, Melissa Simo, Sarah Domenica Sladek, Madison Taylor Smile, Madeline Christine Sobek, Seraphim D. Sparrow, Ginger M. Sprong, MacArthur Lanakila Stant II, Madison Ann Stark, Peter Matthew Stazone, Zachary D. Stern, Michelle Nicole Stinson, Catherine Olivia Stitz, Anthony Michael Studnicka, 
Nabil K. Suna, Eric K. Sweeney, Alicia Don Darin Herman, Blair L. Tarman, Alexis C. Tartaglio, Evan Charles Tompkins, Avery J. Topol, Sean Sai, Alec D. Tyra, Michael A. Ukrin, Catherine M. Eust, Jenna Elizabeth Vance, Gabrielle C. Vietri, Trevor Jacob Weinfeld, Lauren Lene Walter, Tylen Garrett Walters, Kaylee Jean Wark, Jacob Watts, Samuel Ryan Waxman, Alexa Lynn Weber, Grant D. Welburn, Anna Grace Wendorf, Dylan D. West, Kelsey Whalen, Caitlin E. White, Erica N. White, Lauren Whitaker, Colin Brady Wilfong, Jeffrey D. Williams, Tyson R. Woodford, Kara L. Woods, Tyler Woods, Brandon Whirl, Courtney A. Yashannon, Michael E. Yancey III, Kyle Joseph Yatenko, Jacob Elliot Zweibach. We now present our Summer 2021 Master of Legal Studies candidate, Kate Robles. We now present our Summer 2021 Master of Legal Studies online candidates. Sandra Jasmine Balagir. Estevan Beltran. Ryan Book. Megan Marie Campbell. Donald Stewart Chapel. Amy Crosby. Sarah Diamond. Noel Christine Ewing Carter. Shonda N. Harrington. Jasmine Yvette Hatcher. Cassandra Tremel King. Melissa Ann Croninger. Ariana Lester. Christopher L. Locken. Rosendo Mendez. Wesley E. Myrick. Doreen Nacho Gude. Chardonnay Newton, Ksenia Ochap, Christina Luisa Ochoa, Charles Nicholas Pavlik, Jacinta C. Principal, Zulai Yanil Rodriguez, Irma Natividad San Pedro Perez, Hannah Elizabeth Shaddy, Sarah Edna Schiltz, Lena Shalhub, Beth A. Still, Jacqueline B. Sumter, Brendan Tracy, Matthew Eric Woods. We now present our Summer 2021 Master of Sports Law and Business candidates. Michael Logan Balaban, Amber Noel Bowie, Tatiana D. Brown, Ryan Brownlow, Lauren Elise Chang Pradit, Ryan Patrick DeLucio, Brian Fossett, Anthony Joseph Ganella, Cordero Jackson Gonzalez, Brendan Thomas Herfeld, Logan A. Hicks, Alyssa Lynn Hudler, Sydney Anna Hurley, William Scott Neerum, Ryan William Kostecki, Zoe Lamb, Andrew Jared Lippin, Tanner Benjamin Lipson, Lauren Mackenzie Laux, Allison Marie McFarling, Jessica Elizabeth McNeese, Jeffrey Molino, Samantha Ann Napo, Aaron Riggs Oliphant, 
Timothy Walker Osborne, Lucy Reed, Alyssa Marie Rodarte, Haley Rose Sal Kalili, James Sanchez, Lorado Gloria Sargent, John Leslie Stark, Mackenzie Reese Tolley, Taylor Renee Wood, Ji Shuan Allen Shia. We have congratulatory messages from our graduates and ASU Law faculty and staff. Congratulations, graduates. You know, some of you may remember as you arrived here at ASU Law, me saying something to the accord of public health law can impact every part of your whole life. Little did we know that your last year of law school would end with the most sensational public health event we could have possibly imagined. But you know the good news? You persevered, you've made it through, you're gonna graduate from one of the finest law schools in the country, and you've got your whole future ahead of you. Congratulations. Looking forward to seeing where you take it from here. Great job. Thank you so much. Um, the IOP program, uh, Kate Rozier, um, my fellow IOP students, IL, ILP professors, um, family, thank you. Uh, my wife, Nim, my children, Sam and Soraya, um, my extended family, uh, Kevin, thank you so much for challenging me to do this. It's been the greatest challenge, greatest struggle, and I'm grateful for all of you. And once again, thank you. I want to say thank you to my family, thank you to my boyfriend for making me eat real meals and not just letting me eat goldfish crackers all the time, and thank you to my dog for being the best study partner ever. I just want to thank my family, especially my parents and all of my friends for helping me through this journey. Thank you. Just want to thank my girlfriend, Shole Morris, my mom and dad, and my sister for all their support. Thanks, guys. I just wanted to say thank you for everybody that's gone along on this journey with me, and congratulations, class of 2021. We did it, yay. If you're watching this video and you're graduating this year, it's because you are a member of one of the most special and resilient classes that has ever walked through the halls of this law school. And I just wanted to say on behalf of the Sports Law and Business Program, congratulations to all of you. This year has been so tough and we're so proud of your grit and your determination and we're with you all the way. Special shout out to my SLB students. Thank you so much for making work such a joy for me. I'm so happy to be here and congratulations in your big accomplishment and good luck to you in your future. Thank you to my family for all the support they've given me. Big shout out to myself for completing the program and really congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it um, and it's a big accomplishment for all of us. Thank you. Psalm 8510 says, mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed. This is my prayer and my goal as an attorney that I will honor Christ in everything that I do and work as a conduit for justice and mercy, for grace and for truth. I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for helping me and being my rock through everything. I'd also like to give my deepest thanks to my parents, Tim and Mary Beth Shanup, for always encouraging and supporting my education and my dreams. I'd also like to thank the entire Shanup and Martin family for helping me every step of the way. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank my husband, Jeff Martin, for carrying me when I couldn't do it myself and for encouraging me and walking with me through this journey. We did it. I feel so blessed to be an ASU law graduate. I want to thank my parents and my sister and brother. I've had no reason ever to doubt your guys' love and support for me. Thank you so much. And to my Deanna Mabel, thank you so much for being there every step of the way for me. Uh, my life with you is an adventure. So like our great uh, legal friend from Texas on Zoom, I want to say that I'm here live and I'm not a cat. Although, uh, in all seriousness, um, I'm here on a pre-recorded message. And I especially want to thank my husband for all of his support when one day I woke up and said I wanted to be a lawyer and he said that's awesome you should do it. His support since then has been huge so thank you. I also want to thank my parents for believing in me, um, my other family members, my friends and I especially want to just congratulate all my classmates. Uh, we did it and we never have to answer another cold call again. Congratulations to the class of 2021. 
I am so proud of you guys and I wish you the best of luck with everything you do. The JD Admissions Office would like to wish you, the class of 2021, the best of luck with a special thank you to our ambassadors and lawyers. Congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations. I just want to thank my boyfriend Ethan for being absolutely amazing, my total support system for all of law school. Thank you for getting me through this. I love you. Hi, I just want to thank all the friends I've made in law school, my family, and most importantly, my boyfriend who's been my support system the past three years. Thanks, David. Love you. Thank you to my mom, dad, and Ash. Hi, I just wanted to say congrats to the class of 2021. We did it. Um, Gavin Mumia and Ansavio and Kodak. Special shout out to uh, the girl gang, uh, Shenanigan Squad and Goob, and to Hero Bus for giving me a soundtrack to get me through my masters. Hey everyone, this is Trent Hoffman checking in to give a huge congratulations to my classmates for our tremendous accomplishment of graduating law school. I want to give a huge thanks to my wife and kids for your loving support during these last three challenging but rewarding years. I want to thank each and every one of my classmates, faculty, staff, and a special shout out to my patent squad, you guys know who you are, for making ASU Law a truly exceptional educational institution. Guys, as you go out into the world, I've got one thing to ask. I wanna challenge you to every single day, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Truly lead by example. Congratulations, class of 2021, and go Devils. Thank you to all my family and friends for supporting me, especially my husband for sticking up, sticking it out with me through all the sleepless nights. Congrats. I just wanna thank my family, my sister, um, Jasmine, and my grandmother, um, Beatty. And then my babies at home, Isaiah, Tatiana, and Jerome. Hello, I just want to thank everybody from the Indian Legal Program. I also want to thank all of my family. I couldn't have really done it with all you guys. Uh, it's been very, it's been a fight every step of the way, but I'm glad that I've had each and every one of you there backing me. And I'm very proud to be a ASU grad. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you to all of my family and friends, specifically my father Jim, my mother Janet, and my brother Tanner. 23 years ago, I was blessed with the best support system I could have ever received, and I love you guys very much. Thank you to ASU for allowing me to go to school, and uh, I really want to thank Sandra Day O'Connor School of Law. I learned a lot. Thank you to the professors, and thank you to my family. I did it. Hi, everyone. Congratulations on finally finishing law school. After everything that we've been through these past 14 months, I'm so proud of how our class came together. I especially want to thank my wife, my family, my friends, my professors, and my mentors for guiding me to this moment. I'm so happy to share this accomplishment with you. Best of luck to all of the graduates, and I look forward to watching you succeed. Congratulations, class of 2021. I really enjoyed teaching so many of you and look forward to hearing about all of your future success. Hey everyone, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for making my law school experience so special. I want to thank all my professors and faculty, as well as all my friends that I met here at ASU Law, and my parents and fiance for supporting me along the way. Love you guys, thank you so much. Thank you to all my professors, family, friends, and my boyfriend John for making this the best possible experience. So excited to be a graduate of ASU Law's Class of 2021. I want to thank my family and friends without which, uh, whose support without which I would not be able to be here. Thank you all so much for everything. Just want to say thanks to my parents, uh, my family generally, all my professors and classmates. Really proud to have done this. I'd like to thank all of my friends and family, especially my mom and dad, my brother, and also my fiance, Katarina. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. So I want to thank my parents uh, for all of your support through these past few years. Uh, I know it was a little bit crazy, <laughs> but um, I appreciate your support. Uh, my grandma, the rest of my family, my friends, uh, you all mean the world to me. Thank you. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Nikki, and Evan for always believing in me, supporting me, and loving me. I love you so much. Hello and welcome, MLS Spring 2021 graduating class. My name is Eric Henderson, and I will be graduating with a focus on business law. I'd like to thank each and every one of you, including the professors, for an amazing academic experience, not only in undergrad, but also in this graduate experience. And last but not least, I must thank my family, Chewy, my parents, Eric and Gwen, and my children, Eve, Logan, and Kane. 
I could not have done this without each and every one of you by my side walking this journey with me. You have been an, an amazingly humble and gracious inspiration to me. I love you all to pieces, and I thank you all for the from the bottom of my heart. And to the rest of the graduating class, this is no small feat, your accomplishment. Please know, always, that your education is yours, it's portable, and you can take it with you wherever you go in this life. Thank you all. Congratulations. So just want to say thank you to God, first and foremost, for giving me the strength to get through all of these times. I feel so blessed and honored to have been able to just learn from such wonderful minds. And thank you to my family for being patient with me and understanding and supportive throughout this wonderful journey. And thank you to ASU for just being an awesome institution for learning. I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family for all the support you guys have given me throughout the years. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So I just wanted to say thank you again, and I really appreciate everything you guys have done. Go Devils. Hey Mom, hey Dad, hey Dom, hey Mac. Um, thank you for your, all your support throughout this year and getting my degree. I couldn't have done it without you, and here's the three more years at Arizona State. Thank you to my family and friends for all of your support, encouragement, and advice along the way. I sincerely appreciate it. I just want to say thank you to all of my family, friends, and the faculty here, especially my professors and Aaron Hernandez. It's been a great year, and I'm excited to see what my future holds. I would just like to thank my family, my parents, um, Aaron, the amazing faculty here, uh, my brother and grandparents for being so supportive, and I'm excited to see what my future holds. Hey guys, just wanted to say thanks for a great three years at ASU Law, and I can't wait to see you guys all practicing law for the bar. Hi, I want to give a shout out to my best friend Asha. You made law school so much easier to get through and all of my best friends in La Capella, um, number one graduate acapella group in the country, never forget. And I just want to thank my family for supporting me and making me believe I could accomplish this. I'm Liana Swear. I want to say thank you to all the amazing professors, the staff, the deans, everyone that, that works here at ASU to make this what it is. And I want to say a special thank you to Professor Matt Zamora. Uh, you said some words to me during contracts the first year that really motivated me after the midterms to help me keep going and got me through law school and thank you very much. I just wanted to thank my friends and family for all the support these past three years. It's been a long three years so I really couldn't have done it without you all and I'll always love you all for that. Thank you. Congratulations fellow ASU graduates. I would like to thank our professors for guiding us in the role of law. And I would especially like to take this time to thank my family for being my support system, for believing in me, and for inspiring me each and every day. Thank you. Thank you to my husband, Ross, for your constant encouragement and love and the 10 o'clock p.m. runs for coffee during studying. And thank you to my family and friends for your endless support, especially my mom for the countless Sunday night dinners. And to my classmates, I offer that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character hope. We suffered and persevered through law school, developed the character for the practice of law, and we hope that the skills and lessons we have learned will help us achieve the careers and futures we've dreamed of. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hey, congrats, my fellow Sun Devil graduates. I'd like to thank my wife for her unwavering support, my kids for believing in me, and my family for motivating me along the way. Go Sun Devils. Hi, I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me so long through law school, and I'd like to thank my little sister, Alexa, for giving me the emotional support through law school, and I'd like to thank Professor Julia Formholtz for getting me through my internships and just give me amazing experiences. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to my friends and family who support me through this journey. It definitely wouldn't have been possible without you. Hi everybody, Professor Birch and Princess Luna here. I just want to congratulate all of you on your achievement. I wish we could be in person to celebrate your graduation. I suppose the silver lining here is that we think soon life will more or less return to normal. And when that happens, I really hope you're not strangers. Come by, say hi. And instead of calling me Professor Birch, go ahead and call me Jessica then. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, honey. She wishes you the best too. 
I just wanted to thank my family and especially my parents um, for supporting me the last three years. I want to thank my former Civ Protier and now boyfriend Max Shanahan for giving me all of his outlines. And I just want to thank my friends. Um, you've made law school really fun and I'm leaving here with great memories. So congratulations class of 2021. Thank you to my friends and family, especially my grandparents Nathan and Linda. I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, thank you to my mom, my dad, and my sister uh, for helping me throughout my entire college career. You guys have meant a lot to me. And uh, shout out to my uh, fellow graduates. Uh, it's been a wonderful time spending time with you over the past year. Go Devils. Congratulations to the class of 2021. This has been quite a year and you all have done spectacularly well. Congratulations. My name is Seth Nuoso and I just wanna, first of all, give thanks to God, uh, the fact that I'm here, uh, thanks to my mother, uh, my father, my grandparents, my wife, uh, Cambria, and my going on <laughs> five-year-old son, Seth Jr. Uh, you all have uh, supported me throughout this journey and people moreover that I haven't had a chance to thank. And most of all, I thank ASU for giving me the opportunity to attend their institution. Thank you. Thanks to my parents and my uh, wonderful fiance, Austin, who have been more than supportive throughout the last three years. And uh, congratulations to all my classmates. Thank you so much to all of my you know, support from friends and family. Uh, I've really enjoyed this journey and I couldn't have done it without you guys. I'm Jacob Zwieback and as a native Phoenician, my three years here at the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law have been an amazing experience from working with great professors to in-person events, then even with COVID, some great uh, online Zoom events, hearing judges speak, uh, successful attorneys, advocates in various fields. Uh, so I'd love to thank all my professors, family and friends uh, for supporting me through these great three years. Congratulations class of 2021, we did it. Go ASU, forks up. I want to thank my family, my girlfriend, soon to be my fiance, my professors, uh, Sam Renal, David Ufens. I love you guys. Thank you very much for the support. Go Devils, we did it. Congratulations, class of 2021. You made it. I'd like to thank my mom and dad, Dylan, Jody Dogie, for all the support that they've given me through my uh, education. I'd also like to thank uh, the rest of my family, as well as my sister Caitlin Dogie and my friends, I'd like to thank my girlfriend Jen Johnson for all being there to support me through this uh, journey. Thank you guys. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for helping me obtain this very expensive piece of paper and all their love and support along the way. I'd also like to thank all my colleagues, friends, classmates, and the world-class faculty here at ASU. It's been an awesome three years. I would like to thank my parents for their ongoing support and confidence in me as a student. Um, I'd also like to thank the entire ASU Law um, Administration for setting up such an incredible program for us with amazing professors and networking opportunities. I have loved being a part of this master's program. And, um, and lastly, I would like to thank Sun Devil Athletics for their ongoing support um, for me as a student athlete and then now in my, my postgraduate days from undergrad. Um, it has been an incredible journey to be here and I am so looking forward to the future. Hey fellow Sun Devils, uh, congratulations on completing your MSLB program. Thank you to all the professors Aaron, Stephanie, Glenn, I can go on and on, Sarah Perry, uh, for all your help, all your guidance. Everything that you've done along the way, you guys have all been awesome. My fellow uh, classmates have all been very helpful in coordinating just everything uh, from hangouts to group studies to everything. So it's really been an awesome experience in this one year. I've learned so much, I've valued so much, and I'll appreciate it forever. Congratulations, guys. Can't believe we finally finished. I'm so thankful for all of the friends that I made in law school, Allie and Caitlin, everyone on the Law Journal who worked so hard to make sure I didn't lose my mind. And I, you know, I'm so thankful to all of my family, especially my parents, uh, Ed and Linda. I'm only here because of you guys, uh, and I love you so much, and I can't wait to make you proud. Hi, I'm Coco e. Shannon, and I would like to thank my friends and family for keeping me sane throughout this whole process, and most importantly, my fiance, Will without whom I would not have been able to do this. So thank you for your support, babe. Love you. So first I wanna say congrats to all of my uh, fellow classmates who are graduating. It's been a long and tough road, but we did it. Uh, to my mom, my dad, Nana, Kenna, and Tanner especially, uh, thank you for all that you guys have done in helping me get here and for keeping me motivated uh, throughout everything. And then to the rest of my friends and family, thank you all for supporting me. 
uh, works out. To my mom, dad, sister Amy, Claire, thank you so much for never saying no to a late night phone call, always giving me pep talks and always being there when I need it. To my law school best friend, Madeline Bauer, thank you for taking every single class with me and always staying up late to study and go to Starbucks. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for all of the support. Congratulations, class of 2021. You have been on a wild ride and I respect each and every one of you for making it through. I wish you much success and happiness in your careers and in life. And to my civil litigation students, it was absolutely wonderful working with all of you and I wish you much love and success. Congratulations, class. Um, if you ever need anything, always come back. We're always here to help you. Bye. I'd just like to thank my mom, dad, my brother Kevin, my brother Clark for always supporting me and being there with me the whole entire way. I know I've been in ASU for quite some time now, but I swear I'm finally done. Uh, to my law school best friend, Annabelle, for being with me every step of the way and being the last ones in the library during finals. And to my boyfriend, John, for being so supportive throughout this whole entire thing. And to all my friends and family, thank you guys again. And Go Devils! Thank you to my husband who's been very supportive and loving through everything, but mostly thank you to my mother. My mother has stood by me for, you know, through everything and everything my father put us through and everything that we went through together. Um, she never, you know, wavered. She always offered support and I want to say thank you for that. Couldn't do this without you, Mama. Hi everybody, congrats to the class of 2021. Thank you to my family and to all of my friends. What a big accomplishment. Happy graduation, everyone. I just want to thank my wonderful parents and siblings and my grandpa and Nana for helping me get this far. And especially my favorite chair in my favorite study room, Aspie Watkins. Um, congratulations, everyone, um, on this great accomplishment and have a great graduation. Hey, mom, dad, family, friends. Thank you for all who supported me. I couldn't have done this without you. And thank you so much. I love you all. I just want to say thank you to my family, my friends, God overall, and the faculty at the Sandra Day Connor. College of Law. Thank you. Congrats. Congratulations, class of 2021. I'm so excited for you. You did it. On behalf of all of us at the ASU Law Library, congratulations on graduation. We wish you the best. Remember that we're always here to help you. This concludes our Spring 2021 Virtual Convocation for Master of Legal Studies, Master of Sports Law and Business, Master of Laws, and Juris Doctor graduates of the Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law at Arizona State University. We look forward to seeing you soon, and on behalf of all of our ASU law faculty and staff, congratulations, Class of 2021.